In 18 days, Egyptians brought down their president. Months later, protesters went back, saying one regime had simply been replaced by another. Today, one year after it all started, Tahrir Square has for some become a symbol of people power, to others a sign of the country's instability and turmoil. For Shaymeh, January the 25th is an opportunity to demonstrate, not a reason to celebrate. All my Egyptian brothers who were killed, justice has not been served for them. Why would I celebrate when the goals of the revolution haven't been realized? We came here a year ago to ask for bread, freedom and social justice. Corruption is still everywhere. On the other side of Cairo, in an upscale neighborhood near the former president's home, Hatim has a different opinion. This year has been very, very difficult on us. In terms of the economy, daily living, and of course it hasn't been very safe. There was a period when people were very scared. So if he knew a year ago what the situation would be like, I asked, would he still have supported the uprising? Of course nobody can say they don't support the revolution. This revolution released people from the pressure and depression we were in for 30 years. We're living through a difficult period, but each one of us has to persevere, take it step by step. Listen, it's easy to destroy, but to rebuild takes time and patience. But most Egyptians are not in Tahrir Square. Most cannot afford to sit around trendy cafes. Almost half the people in the country live on $2 a day or less in shanty towns like this one south of Cairo. Here, people are not thinking about what the revolution could bring in the future. It's about daily survival. The revolution has done nothing for us. It stopped our work. There is no buying or selling and everything is more expensive. It would have been better for us if there were no revolution. We were living okay. The elites, the revolution brought down. They didn't affect us. This revolution has done nothing for us except stop our work. What did Tahrir and all those young people achieve? I want the country to get back on its feet so we can live. Nobody we met wanted Mubarak back in power. The differences were over what, if anything, the revolution has achieved and whether the price Egyptians have paid in the last 12 months will prove to be worth it. At heart, the uprising was about restoring a sense of Egyptian pride and dignity. But the erosion of rights and freedoms and the deteriorating economy are making that increasingly harder. After one year, there's still as much fear as there is hope for the future of the country. Shirin Tadros, Al Jazeera, Cairo.